One of the big, big things that makes electric cars more efficient, it actually does make a significant difference. And it's something that petrol powered or gasoline powered, diesel powered cars don't have, is heat pumps. Now, new heat pumps are getting more and more efficient, they're getting better. Obviously, Tesla has really, to be honest, revolutionized heat pumps. A lot of manufacturers now are looking at what Tesla did and they're going, okay, we're gonna make a similar thing to that. They've been doing that. However, now there is a world first fourth generation heat pump, and this will boost EV performance and range by even more. This is gonna combine with a lot of other technologies. You're looking at increased energy density in batteries. You're looking at aerodynamic, aerodynamic efficiency. You're looking at more efficient electric motors, more efficient heat pumps. All these things are gonna to come together to make electric cars much, much better within only the space of one, two, three, four, five years. They're gonna to continue to improve every single year. There's no getting around it. Innovation is happening at an incredibly rapid pace in the EV sector. Hello, my friends. Great to see you. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. And yeah, true, I can't see you, but great to have you with us because this is really important news. So many innovations are coming together to really create a pivot point. Now, we know that internal combustion cars are going to be banned around in more than 35 different countries, including China, where to be honest, banning them doesn't make any difference because uh, they're actually going extinct anyway at a very, very, very rapid pace. We know that's changing. That's changing the world economy, the global automotive industry. It's going to improve our air quality. But, you know, new innovations are coming out to make EVs so much more compelling, to make them just sound like, wow, it's better again. Oh, another thing that's better again. Can you say any of that about internal combustion cars? No, I don't think so. So what's this pump about? Well, Hanon Systems, renowned worldwide for its leadership in automotive thermal solutions, has unveiled the world's fourth generation heat pump system alongside its innovative thin HVAC technology, which is heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. This is a big step towards revolutionizing electric vehicle thermal management and making EVs more efficient. Through close collaboration with our client, we were able to proactively develop the world's first new technology in this industry, claims the Vice President of AP Innovation Center at Hanon Systems. Now, is it actually that good? Is it actually significantly better than Tesla's heat pumps? Well, they claim it is, but obviously we have to see it in the real world to really know for sure. The company says its fourth generation heat pump system has been commercially available since July of this year. So car manufacturers are beginning to use this system in their cars. The fourth generation heat pump system was first implemented in the Kia EV3 in South Korea. So the EV3 is not on sale in most places yet, but it will be within the next few months. That's one of the things that will help the Kia EV3 be more efficient. Apparently production of these heat pumps, because this is a, um, a Chinese company, I believe, apparently these heat pumps will be manufactured in the US and in Europe as well per a press release from the company. So the newly developed heat pump is a major breakthrough in how EVs manage temperature. The system employs a distinctive method by simultaneously recovering heat from various sources like the motor, the battery, and ambient air. This reclaimed heat, which would otherwise be lost, is repurposed to both warm and cool the cabin while maintaining the battery at its optimal operating temperature. By continually refining our heat pump system design to improve efficiency and reduce power consumption requirements, and on systems has contributed to extending EV driving range. By how much would this extend your range? Well, I don't know. My guess based on their numbers would be 5%, but I can't say for sure. This new cutting edge heat pump system has been designed with a modular structure that incorporates several patented or patent pending technologies. Those include a standout feature, which is the refrigerant control module or the RCM and coolant control module. Those are combined into a single unified control unit by merging these components the system ad achieves smoother and more efficient management of the entire thermal setup enhancing performance and of course energy efficiency so one of the things guys that we've tried to do in in evs to improve efficiency hyundai hyundai they have they've developed a a seat belt that warms you so it has a, a heater inside the seat belt obviously it's a bit thicker seat belt and the reason for this is because obviously heated seating is much more efficient. If you use heated seats, instead of using your heating in your car, 
that's more efficient to use heated seats, but it's even more efficient again to use simply a heated seat belt. But you still will lose, obviously, some heat in your car. And that, that loss of heat, of course, can be reused from your heat pump. So at the same time, you do, I mean, there's gonna be times when you don't want, you don't want to do this. You, you don't want to just say, I don't want to use the heating because I want to have an efficient car. You know, I'm just gonna use my seat heating. Might be uncomfortable, <laughs> it might be like minus 10 degrees. You don't really want to go through that. And that's when, you know, situations when you really need to use your heater, um, that's really when you're gonna get this full efficiency benefit. So it's really in cold, cold climates where you'll get the highest efficiency boost or the highest extra range added to your vehicle based on a, a car that doesn't have this system. Hanoi Systems have been working on this new heat pump, they say, since 2015, so for nine years, and they were the first to mass produce heat pump systems that could recover and reuse waste heat. This was a huge step in improving EV efficiency. In addition to this heat pump, this revolutionary heat pump system, Hanoi Systems introduced H, uh, thin HVAC technology, which is also another industry first. It significantly downsizes the overall HVAC system size by 30%. So what does that do? Well, this efficiency in size means it's lighter, the system's lighter. There's also increased leg room for passengers and a more comfortable driving environment. So it could, it could be a situation where instead of having no frunk, because of this new system being 30% smaller, you have a frunk, or at least it adds extra space to existing frunk. All these kinds of changes, guys, combining, um, mean more not only more efficiency, but more space in your electric car. because. Some of these new smaller electric car motors, that also frees up space. It means that an electric car of the same size will have a much bigger interior space than an internal combustion car. Have a look at the interior space of a Tesla Model Y. It's much larger. The boot, in fact, is about 40% bigger than the boot space in a Toyota RAV4. The Toyota RAV4 has similar external dimensions to a, to a Tesla Model Y, but it's much, much smaller on the inside. And that's yet another benefit of this EV technology and, of course, these new heat pumps.